welcome welcome guys to my youtube channel my name is tasha washaya thank you so much for clicking this video so today's video i'm going to be talking about my experience getting my citizenship like how i got my citizenship in the military like kind of like all the process i'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible because i think it's about to start raining and no and to join the military i think you need your i think you need your green card yeah i think you need your green card so i already had mine and i joined uh i was eligible for everything and then i um went to basic training did my whole basic training graduated basic training went to ait and in ait they are still drill sergeants if you don't know about it so those drill sergeants are the ones that will help you kind of like that will help you like with your paperwork and everything since you want to start doing your paperwork as soon as possible to get your citizenship with me it took only like two weeks and then they started calling out names for people you know you need to start the, the whole process so they gave me a whole um kind of like what is it called i can't talk an application like it was a huge application uh like the 426 the n400 so kind of like to fill out ourselves like our information i was filling out the whole paperwork um it kind of took a long time because i barely had time in ait i was always doing something but um roughly in like a week i was done with everything though every it has to be like completed like everything had to be completed i gave it back to my drill side and my drill <coughs> so you have two options you can either hand write it with all capital letters and it has to be a black pen in the application like handwritten or you can type it in in all caps like and print it while it's typed in so what my just i was doing was we would type it in in the application and then they would type it we would handwrite it on the application and our just i would type it on the computer and print it all out uh, my paperwork apparently didn't i don't know it took a long time or something because they changed the drill sergeant so like it didn't really like process while i was still in ait so when i came to my duty station which was here in fort drum i had to restart everything all over again i was mad so my ait was kind of like in september october and then i came here in december i started doing all my old paperwork my everything starting from zero filling out everything making sure everything is nice everything is accurate everything is true you know but they will um make sure they sign the higher up sign everything so the difference with doing it while you're still in ait and doing it when you get to your duty station is when you get to your duty station it's kind of like you want you're waiting for the higher ups to sign your papers and they take a long time sometimes you know like they take a long time you know they're not just gonna get the paperwork today and sign you right now like it takes like months to just get a signature from your higher up so yeah it kind of took a long time for me so i after everything getting completed getting signatures i sent um i sent all my documents all my paperwork you can either do it you can send it online on their website the uscis you can either send all your paperwork online or you can send it via mail but i would recommend you doing it online because it's much quicker and it's more reliable let's say you like you lose your papers you know what i mean so i would suggest you like typing it in in the documents and getting the signatures you need for the 426 whatever and then take a picture send it to like send it online you know on their website because it's much quicker and reliable that way yeah so sending it online i sent mine all everything online everything was accurate and then they scheduled me i think it took like two months or something and then they scheduled me for my what is that called fingerprints uh appointment so i had my fingerprints appointment the biometric whatever the accurate name i don't know but um i, I was scheduled to go and then i went i did my fingerprints it didn't even take a long time all i needed was my military id and my green card yeah pretty much and my and the letter that they sent you do the mail make sure you have the letter with you and then i did my fingerprints everything took less than 10 minutes i came back waited for 
two, three months again. And then I got another mail saying, oh, I'm going to be doing um, the interview. So at the fingerprints uh, appointment, they give you, I would have literally showed, showed it to you. I can't find the paper. They will give you like a little booklet, the little booklet thing that when you, when you are getting ready to get, to do the interview, you have to study that. It's just, you all know about it, the naturalization uh, test thingy. So it's, all, it's like a hundred questions in the book and they only ask you 10 questions and you have to get at least six questions right out of the 10. But it's not that hard. Like with me, I would just let it play on my YouTube while I was doing something to kind of like remember. And some questions are already like kind of obvious, like who was the first president and stuff. If you want me to make a separate video on that, I can. They give you a little booklet to study, get ready for your interview. And then after two, three months, I will schedule for my interview. If you get six of them correct the, at the very beginning, they will not ask anymore because you already passed the test. But, and it wasn't even like that hard. And then after that, they did their paperwork. Um, and then they gave me a date for my auto ceremony. And... So my, I think my interview was in, wait, wait, wait. I think my interview was end of, or like mid July. Yeah, I, my interview was mid July. And then my natural, my oath of ceremony for you to actually swear in, to get your certificate after swearing in and everything, you, it took me from, mid july to kind of like end of august for me to be scheduled for my auto ceremony um and then you know they sent me another mail saying my auto ceremony is gonna be um at the end of august august 26 and then i'm gonna you know be swearing in and everything else and getting my citizenship finally and when you go to the auto ceremony thing they will take your green card yeah, I'm trying to make this short. I don't want to like explain into detail. If you have any, qu any questions, then you can ask me. But right, right now, I'm just trying to shorten everything up so y'all can like kind of know what it is. They gave me, they took my green card away. Sad. Then they gave me my certificate. So I don't need my green card no more. And yeah, that's kind of like the process. Uh, it doesn't really take long, especially while you're active duty. It doesn't take long and you don't have to pay any paperwork you send nothing you don't have to pay anything everything is free in the civilian world you kind of have to pay like i think like 700 dollars i don't know how much 300 400 i don't know for like an application only just for your application only just like you know we send all our application we do all our paperwork for free like we don't have to pay just to send in an application. That was kind of like my experience. I got my citizenship. Um, it was it was a really, really good experience. You know, after a long time getting your citizenship, it was just like a good experience. So yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. If you have any more questions, make sure to follow me on my Instagram and I answer DMs as like quickly because I'm always active on Instagram. It's Washaya Natasha. Uh, if you have any more questions you want to ask me or you want me to make a video, just comment down below. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, you guys. We want to get to 1K before the end of this year, please. So let's subscribe. Let's grow. Uh, if you have any more questions about the naturalization, green card, enlisting, or anything, like I got you guys. Make sure to, you know, leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure to support your girl. Bye, uh, thank you so much, guys.